Can you get reinfected with Omicron, what experts are saying, plus how to get free at-home COVID tests through your private insurance? That and more news coming up. You had it and you can get it again. Infectious disease experts say new cases of Omicron indicate people can get reinfected with the COVID variant more than once. We're seeing second cases of Omicron. More often in people who have not been vaccinated than in people who have been vaccinated, but second cases of Omicron in both groups. The protection from that first infection is looking not very good, at least in very preliminary data from the United Kingdom, suggesting maybe only about 20% protection about getting infected again. So by all means, you know, don't, don't think because you've had it or because you've had that booster that you can go out and you don't have to worry about getting Omicron. I do expect that we're going to see reinfections with uh, with Omicron. Definitely the uh, degree of protection from a prior variant is uh, not anything to count on um, when it comes to uh, Omicron. If you want to learn more about Omicron, like what its symptoms are or how the variant compares to others in number of cases, head to mbcbayarea.com slash COVID FAQ. In case you missed it, as of January 15th, private health insurance companies are now required to pay for at least eight at-home COVID tests per month. Here's consumer investigator Chris Kamora with more information and how you can get yours. If you want your health insurance company to pay for an at-home COVID-19 test, the first thing to do is find out what your health plan's plan is. Here's what we mean. The federal government gave insurance companies an option. The companies can either pick some over-the-counter test sellers and cut a deal with them where you have no out-of-pocket cost. Or the insurance companies can let you choose the store yourself. You pay, then they reimburse you. Reach out to your health insurance company. Figure out which way your plan is going before you buy anything. If your plan doesn't set up a network of sellers and makes you pay out of pocket, they're required to cover the full price you pay. Be sure to keep your receipt and maybe even the original packaging until you get paid back. If your plan does set up a network, you don't have to buy from those stores though. You can go out of network, but the maximum reimbursement is $12 per test. So how many can you get? Each person on your policy gets eight per month. Find the full explainer on NBCBayArea.com slash how to. Cold morning temperatures and patchy fog are what's expected this week. Here's Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranieri with your microclimate forecast. Well, hey there, Abby. A pretty simple forecast coming our way this week. We get morning fog, afternoon sunshine, daytime highs right here in the 60s, morning lows in the 40s. Then by Friday night and Saturday morning, wind in the mountains 20 to 40 miles per hour. Now, because of our December rainfall, we don't think there's going to be a red flag fire warning, but we're certainly going to keep our eye out. The other thing I do want you to keep an eye out for as well is your allergies. Pollen going to the high category for cedar, alder, and pine in the moderate. Okay, that's your latest forecast. Abby, back to you. Follow Jeff on social to stay on top of any weather changes. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.